13 years ago, when you were, you would have been seven. Yes. Five, six, seven, you're young. Mm -hmm. They're very young. So they're infants. And he took his own life. Yes. And how, how did he do that? Um, I believe it was with a gun. My okay. mom actually is the one that found him. Okay. And at that point, she became a single mother, raising the three of you, which is, let, let's admit it, that's a very difficult thing to do. But she's not worked in 10 years. She's not home cleaning house. She never made so it what easier is she for us. Doing? Normally, she'd be at home sitting on her phone or doing nothing. Um, she likes to say that she takes us to sporting events and she considers that being a parent. Does she ever have anyone come over to the house? No, she doesn't want anyone in the house. No one has ever been in the house. I haven't been able ever since I was a kid to have friends over and stay the night because of that reason. Mm -hmm. Well, normally when we get ready to do a story. We ask you a million questions and we, we shoot and do interviews and that sort of thing, which includes the environment. We look where people live and get, we try to get a, a kind of day in the life, a cross section of people's lives that we're going to be talking about. Um, she refused to let us shoot inside the house. I'm not surprised. Um, and my theory is people who have nothing to hide, hide nothing. Do you think the house is still the way that these pictures look? I truly believe the house is in the same condition that the other ones have been in. I went and actually visited in May because I went to go pick up my brother and sister to stay the night at my grandma's, uh -huh. and my little sister let me in. Surprisingly, um, she had the kitchen and the living room clean because I think she knew I was going to try to do that. And I was like, well, let me see your guys' rooms. I went into their rooms, and the garbage was just piled up again. So the pictures that we see here, some of those pictures are from 07. Some of those pictures are from 16. Yes. And you've been in the house as recently as May. So it's this year. Yes. And it looks just like this. Yes. So it's the same way. The same exact way. Okay. What does she say about that when you talk to her? She does not know that you've given us these pictures. She's got no clue that I've given you guys the pictures, but the thing is, she gets defensive. She says, oh, it's not a mess. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with it. I was like, do you not see this? And she's like, well, maybe the kids need to clean up their rooms. Well, this isn't the kitchen. This is a bed. This is where children sleep. Yes. This is where people, what do, you, what do you do when you walk through this? Do you go lean against the wall? What do you, there's nowhere <laughs> to sit. There's nowhere to lay. What do you do in this house? The thing is like, me and my siblings, we mostly just tried to stay in the living room as much as we could, or we'd go outside. I was very into sports my high school career, and so are the kids, so we tried to do our best to stay out of the house, but it's very hard when you have such a controlling mother that doesn't actually let you go outside the house or have friends. 